Manus is this new agent that everybody has been talking about. In this video, I'm going to show you three different examples of how Manus can conquer the world of automation. Manus, if you're not familiar, is a general agent. This is an AI agent that helps you create certain things. It's a combination of OpenAI's deep research plus OpenAI operator. So it works within a virtual sandbox, very much like a Ubuntu environment. And then it can do a bunch of things based on whatever you say. So it spins up a computer and then does the task that you ask it for. The most impressive part is that how good it is. For example, in this case, Victor went to Manus and then said only one thing, code a 3JS game where you control a plane. And the output is quite mind blowing because the agent in this case decided to do everything by itself and then created this in just a zero shot. I mean, the person did not have to create a 3D model because Manus itself created it created the 3D environment as well, where it is rendering the environment. It added the control, it uh, created the game. It even decided to run the game and then finally show it to you, including all the other features that you would expect a typical game engine to have. And this is all zero shot. That is the most impressive part. And as you can see here, this is currently running using Manus's own computer using the terminal. The next demo that kind of blew my mind is uh, from Lamer and uh, Lamer is saying that Manus is the craziest AI agent. So Lamer asked Manus to create a two month family trip. So Australia to New Zealand to Argentina to Antarctica. I didn't even know that people can go to Antarctica. You can see that Manus starts very simply. So it uh, once you give the prompt, it basically says that what it is going to do, starting with creating a Ubuntu sandbox environment. And then it is trying to create a document where you have to do a bunch of things. So as you can see here, it is just basically creating a folder, going into the folder and then starting to create a document called todo.md. And then from there, you can see that Manus kind of like goes into this automated research mode where it is going to go see everything that you want in a travel itinerary document. So it goes to different websites, start doing research. It's using interactively browser, the markdown file and whenever it is required, like different elements within the computer. And then it is finally putting together everything and then giving you the final result which is a PDF document that is almost like, you know, you asked an intern to do a research and then get back to you, which is very impressive because you are not hiring an intern in this case, and you are doing something with an automated AI agent, which is like truly automated because this is once again, a zero shot. I asked Marius uh, to create a managed document and I said, okay, just, just for fun. I said, what are the side effects of Ozempic? What kind of impact it's got with the longevity? And then it, the document it gave is quite comprehensive. I mean, my knowledge in this particular topic is very limited, but still from the onset of it, like when I look at the document itself, the document looks very professional to me. I don't know how long, how much, you know, the document has hallucination, how much it is absolutely correct. But what I did is I gave this document to Grok Deep Research and I told Grok Deep Research to do a fact check. So Grok Deep Research or Deep Search is basically it uses internet articles. And then Grok basically came back and then told me that everything that is mentioned on this document about Ozambic is accurate. And then also it kind of gave me a table about like, okay, whatever the document said, it is all confirmed using various different resources. So this started making me believe that Manus does not hallucinate a lot. And one of the reasons probably could be maybe, maybe Manus, there is a post training aspect of Manus, maybe instead of uh, aligning the model or post training the model to respond back to humans as a chat, maybe Manus has been post trained to behave like an agent. There are a couple of other Manus demos that I found it fascinating. You can ask Manus to create an interactive web page to learn transformer architecture. And then it again does the same thing, like creates a Ubuntu sandbox, goes, reads about it, and then it does all the things. And then finally gives you the final answer where it gives you an interactive uh, web page where you can just like it even gives you like a hyperlink where it is a subdomain within the Manus domain. And you can go see here. Okay, I want to click learning, start learning. And then you, you kind of like have a website altogether. This is all Manus created and it's kind of hosted as well. Finally, if you think that Manus is only doing research, Manus is only creating documents, you would be surprised that Manus can also create something like a business card or create a minimal elegant business card for me inspired by Apple's design philosophy. And I've attached my resume for reference. And once this is a command that is given to Manus, you can see Manus first of all tries to understand what is the design philosophy of uh, Apple? Uh, not only just like takes the resume, but also goes to different websites and then tries to learn what is Apple's design philosophy. 
and in fact like goes to apple documentation and reads about apple identity guidelines and creates a page based on all these things including the information that is available on the resume basically in one zero shot you could create a business card using your information but using some theme and this is all automated i think the most impressive part is all of these are automated the only gripe i've got is it is not openly available not everybody can use it at this point there is a wait list so you can go click here get started once you go here if you have got an invitation code you can enter it if you do not have you can click apply for access but for now you can just enjoy all the demos that people are doing and then wait for managed to be open source which i've got a happy news for you because somebody has already started creating open manners and the repository already has got 8000 stars which means people have an enormous amount of interest and the meta gpt team is basically building this so i cannot wait to use the open manners rather than using a closed manners and this will be a pretty interesting time to have an open source alternative of something that is crazy viral and top of their game let me know what you think about manners see you in another video happy prompting